Why? Oh boy. Hey, well, if you couldn't tell by that EV infestation, we're gonna have ourselves quite the EV forward video. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Kenya Busta Gut, and today we're gonna be looking at the products within the products. Today we're gonna be looking at the three pack of pins from Costco, which is basically an assortment of products that Pokemon couldn't get rid of quick enough. So you've probably seen these Pokeball tins earlier this year, considering Pokemon does like to do a yearly release of Pokeball tins and introduce a new Pokeball. This time, I believe it was the Lovable, but they were uh, poorly received by the mass. So what Pokemon does, uh, just, well, combine it together with other products that perform similarly like this uh, Eevee Lunchbox. So they just couple it all together. It is very weird, oblong packaging, very uh, rushly assembled, may I add. And they just give it to uh, a retailer to sell exclusively. This one is from Costco. I had a buddy of mine buy it from Costco because I do not own a Costco membership because I don't buy for a family of 16. I buy couture, single use. I've never found myself in, in a, well, a situation where I need 96 rolls of toilet paper. All right, so I'm gonna open up the collection and work my way from left to right, like the Westerner I am. I ain't a weeb. Coming from the guy that, well, is opening up a bunch of Pokemon stuff. So, what do we have here? We have the, this is, I believe, yes, this is the Lava Ball. Let's see what are the packs inside. Uh, so, I believe it's three packs and a coin. I can hear the coin already. Ooh. Wow, this is more layers than an onion. Cool. All right, got it. Let's see what the packs are inside. And of course, they're all <laughs> they're all caved in. Nice. And then the coin is uh, one of those. Oh, never distant ente coin. Nice. Very regal indeed. All right. Well, here are the packs. The good thing is my expectations were quite literally in the basement. So if we get anything good out of here, it is well very pleasing. All right, what do we have? Here is the code card. That is in fact the code card, but here is the actual code. Damn it, all right, well, let's see what we uh, get disappointed with. We have a Toxapex, nice, very OP. We got a Powerful Energy, cool. We got a Pierce, you got a Tauros. Got a Snubble, just chill out on the fields, good for you. Marie, Pansier, oh, whoops. We have a Diano with the Raw XD haircut. We have the Relicanth Reverse. Ugh. And then, hey, greeting, yeah. Just what I expected, let's move on to Rebel Clash. And if you enjoy this sort of content, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to stay in the loop, to, you know, get notified whenever I uh, upload. I do upload somewhat frequently, like once, uh, I don't know, a week maybe? If you're good, I'll upload once a week. <laughs> I can a kid, please. All right, what do we have? We have the Hatrim. Cool. I actually like that uh, artwork. We have a Pokeball, just a plain Jane Pokeball. Whatever, we got a Lampin. We have a Shinx. That's a nice, fierce looking Shinx. We got a Roly Cole. We got Tana, Stunky, Metatite just chilling out somewhere by a stump, I think. We got a Seismitoad. What in the world is that? You. You got a hold of the Power Stone. Interesting, good for you. And then we have. <gasps> Whoa, cool. Hey! Rillaboom V Max. That's right. I always, I always bring it up when I open up one of these terrible packs. But yeah, the uh, the VMAX uh, starters are in here. That's so cool. Nice. Got a Super Saiyan 3 monkey. All right, last pack. Can we get the... Uh, what's in here? That's good. There is the money card. Um, hold on. Everybody's dying for it. Uh, there's a couple of nice gold rares. There's a couple of nice hyper rares. There are, of course, the, the, uh, the gold dogs. Love to get some of those. Can we get it? Can we get all of those in this one pack of Sword and Shield? Be wild. Uh, Poke Gear 3.0. We got Thwanky. We got a Big Charm. We have a Galarian Zigzagoon. We have a Sizzlepeed. Tinchu. We got a Baltoy. Hmm. Baltoy drawn on uh, MS Paint. We got a Q Finch. We got a Thwacky. Reverse. Nice. Do a little uh, Overwatch. And then we have. Ooh, wow. There's. I didn't. What? This is a dope looking Gengar. Hold up. That looks awesome. 
It's a pretty clean looking Gengar. And then we have a Psychic. And then we, uh... Then we should stay here in all of this sweet, hollow Gengar. I don't think I've ever gotten before. Nice. Well, I have to admit, that was quite surprising. Um, first 10... Success, I'd say, all things considered. Uh, moving along, as we trek further into this uh, collection, we do have three Eevee promos, I guess. And how kind of you, Pokemon. Uh, if, is there any way to get this section out without completely ruining the cards? Yes, there is. One sec. And then here we go, the three promos that are not exclusive at all to this uh, collection, which were housed in this huge block of cardboard. Pokemon, you could do a little better than this. Why <laughs> Why did you use the most oblong, weird box for this? Jesus, okay. Anyway, we have Eevee, which I believe comes with a three-pack blister. We have another Eevee. Cool, and then here's, well, you guessed it, hey, another Eevee. All right, we're making it further into the collection. Here we have the lunchbox, kind of cool. Not gonna lie, if I were seven years old, I'd be all over this. But instead, I'm three times that age, and I'm still all over this. Funny how it works, huh? All right, let's pop open the hood. Let's see what we're greeted with. We have the, what? That is so awesome! You're immediately greeted with the three evolutions. Sweet! And then you have this huge Eevee coin. Awesome! Alright, so let's check out the three OG evolutions. We have Vaporeon, we have Flareon, and of course we have Jolteon, which I believe are all from uh, Vivid Voltage. Kind of cool you could get all three of them here at the same time. Kind of a shame these aren't like special promos. Can't complain regardless. All right, let's go over the juicy stuff, the packs. We do have five packs. Let's see which they are. They are Vivid Voltage, Rubble Clash, Shorten Shield, Chilling Rain, and Chilling Rain. And here is the entire code card. Go nuts. All right, let's get rid of, I don't know, what's the least desirable here? Rubble Clash. Let's get rid of Rubble Clash first. Even though we did get something nice from Rubble Clash. Here's the code card. What do we have? We have Halucha. Cool. You don't see that one too often. We have Indeedee, Charger Bug, Phantom. Nice. We got a Galarian Farfetch, Squovet, Galarian Mr. Mime, Caterpie. Nice. And we have a Scyther. Wow, that's a cool looking Scyther artwork. Nice. And then we have, hey, a Barbaracle. All right, next back up Sword and Shield. What can we get from here? Here's the code card. Okay, we got a Ram Boot. We have a Ferrothorn, Switch, Muna, a little Sack Boy Muna. I love it. We got a Galarian Zigzagoon, Sizzlipede, Chenchu, Baltoy. Ugh, we got a Pokekin, Reverse. That's kind of cool. I wonder if it comes as a full art. Maybe. Then we have <laughs> Raichu. That's a pretty cool looking Raichu, though. Love it. Nice. All right, just as we expected, 0 for 2 so far. Can we go higher than this? God, I hope so. <laughs> Jesus. Code card. Fog Crystal. Okay, nice. So you got a Hatch Room. Drizzile. Cool. We got a Clobopus. You got a Cast Form. Antenna. Aaron. We have. Ooh, a Ralts. And then a cast form, study form reverse, and then... Ooh, oh, okay. I thought it was a, just a normal hollow for a second. I mean, a uh, rare. But no, yeah, it's, uh, it's a hollow. Rapid Striker Shifu. Oh, joy. We moved literally one step up. You know, I gotta admit, Pokemon does a really good job at uh, completely ruining your expectations, your high expectations with all these dud packs, so when the moment comes around that you do get something nice, you enjoy it a little more, you know? Because if you get eight hits out of eight packs, then you really can't enjoy it now, can you? Of course you can, Jesus. We got Dusclops, we, ooh, we have a, who, who is this? Carolis, the uh, Diglett uh, aficionado, I think. Slugma, Whismur, Execute, Wubat, Beldum, Electros, Reverse, and then... Come on, man. Oh, I just, wait, hold on, I just noticed. 
That is a non-hollow. Meanwhile, the one from Vivid Voltage, I mean, from the collector's chest, is a hollow. Interesting. Why would you do this to us? Ugh. Our last pack from the collector's chest. Wow, really? You're gonna do that to me? I'm freaking label. Okay. All right. We have Avery. Nice. We have Thwacky. Fog Crystal. Weedle. Working on that core. We got a Colobopus. Mareep. Ralts. Cast form. Rainy form. You got Ink K. Reverse. Nice. And then. Oh my god. Before we get cut any further, let's look at the goodies that the lunchbox had. Bunch of stickers. Like I said, if I were, you know, a third of my age, I'd be all over this stuff. And of course, you have this uh, notepad to write down how well, how the presses <laughs> just got you. And, uh, oh, cool. I actually really dig this little binder with the, uh, the EV and the evolutions in the back. Kind of cool. All right, and for the last leg of the race, we have ourselves the Great Ball Tin. Let's see what we have inside. Uh, well, well, it's what you expected. We have Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, and hey, Darkness Ablaze. This might be crazy or just purely coincidental, but it's the same coin. Come on, Pokemon. From our last tin, we got a VMAX and just a hollow. Can the Great Ball beat the Lovable? Let's see. What do we got here? God, Jesus. Code card. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Larion. Simus here. Ooh. I like that. We got a Rose Tower. We got a Centret. Nice. Going to do a little nice early morning stretch. Love it. Galarian Darumaka. We got a Grimer. We got a Larvitar. Shelmet. Panseer. Reverse. Dig it, and hey, it's, uh, no one cares. I will say, so far, we're copying the outcome of the other tin. Now, in this one, we get the VMAX. Which VMAX? I'd like to get an Intellion. Good card. Oh, what? What? That Morpeko looks so damn cool. We have a Scoop Up Net, we have a Heracrot, wow. It's not a, you don't see a Heracross spreading out its wings like that, taking flight too often. That's cool to see. We have a Magmar, okay, we got a Galarian Yamask, uh, Surskit, Stuffle, cough, <laughs> Coughing, looks like it's getting, uh, getting spooked by its own gases. Nice. <gasps> wow, the Morpeko and Reverse. Interesting. What is that wheel supposed to even be? Okay. Then we have... <laughs> <laughs> what a Galarian preserve <laughs> secret shiny rare wow that's so awesome I didn't expect it to get it out of this pack that's so cool I completely forgot uh, which were the gold cards in the set but hey yeah Galarian Berserker uh, I'll go plunger with you anytime <laughs> Awesome. All right, okay. Looks like we're turning the ship around. It's a little late, but better late than never, I suppose. Nice. All right. Sword Shield, what do you have for us? What do I have for you? I have this code card for you guys. Enjoy it or something. All right. Last pack. Galvantula. Corvusquire. Lumberry. Cool. Cufin. Krabby. Yamper. With those little, tiny little paws. Okay, we have a Silicobra, Gossiflor, Professor's Research with Professor Magnolia. <laughs> fall asleep the moment I fall into, <laughs> the moment I step into class. And then we have T. All right, that's going to do it for me, everyone. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out your boy. Uh, I also do like reading my comments and replying to them and starting conversations. Anyway, reminder. There's still going to be a giveaway at 300 subs, so again, make sure to subscribe. It's free! Why wouldn't you, you dummy? Final thoughts on this product or products? Well, look, listen. For 30 bucks, you're getting 11 packs, a whole bunch of goodies, coins, 
promos. You really can't go wrong. This is a great product if you want to get into Pokemon or if you fell out of Pokemon a couple years back and you want to get back into it. This is a great product to pick up, in my opinion. Then again, you do have to be a Costco member, so if you plan on going to Costco and buying 96 rolls of toilet paper, and you see one of these in the aisles or on one of the pallets, pick it up. It'd be, in my opinion, it'd be worth your, worth your penny. But yeah, until then, I'm Ken. Uh, take it easy. See ya. Peace.